Hey there YouTube coin community, this is Coin Snoop with CoinOt, and today, I've got an incredible story to share with you. It's a real gem in the world of coins, and trust me, you won't believe the twists and turns in this history. So let's start and roll the intro. Coin the tale of the 1974 aluminum Lincoln cent, also known as the 1974 aluminum penny. Back in the early 70s, folks were getting all worried about the rising cost of copper, which was used to make pennies. The smart folks at the United States men had a brilliant idea. Why not try mending pennies with aluminum instead? And just like that, the 1974 aluminum Lincoln cent was born. The coin looks a lot like the regular Lincoln penny, with good old Abe Lincoln's face on the obverse and the Lincoln memorial on the reverse. But here's the kicker. It's made of aluminum. A pretty bold experiment, I must say. Now, here's where the story gets juicy. Turns out, the idea of aluminum since didn't sit well with everyone. Vending machine operators were worried that people would mistake the coins for dimes because they were nearly the same size and weight. So, the men decided not to make more of them and called back the ones they'd already made. Bummer, right? They even declared it illegal to own these experimental coins because they were considered government property. Ouch. Do you know what makes the 1974 aluminum Lincoln cent so darn special? Rarity, my friend. Most of these coins were destroyed, but a few sneaky ones slipped through the cracks and found their way into collector's hands. That's right. These little rebels are super rare and highly sought after by coin enthusiasts. As of now, there are only a few known of this variety, making it an incredibly unique and coveted piece. Back in February 2001 edition of Numismatic News, Alan Herbert reported the existence of an aluminum scent. This scent was found by a U.S. Capitol Police officer named Albert Tovin on the floor of the Rayburn office building. Apparently, some unnamed government official dropped it after attending a hearing about 1974 aluminum cents. So, Officer Tovin, thinking it was just a regular dime, tried to return it to the official. But the official told him to keep it. When Tovin got home and really looked at it, he realized it was a cent, not a dime. And that's how this one-of-a-kind coin ended up in private hands. Some folks aren't totally sure about this story. You see, since the coin is made of aluminum, it should have gotten all banged up when it was dropped. But it didn't. So, there's some mystery surrounding whether the tale is for real or not. But on a coin of this magnitude, it probably doesn't matter anyways. It got graded and certified by the independent coin grading company as AU58 in 2005. And two months later, the professional coin grading service up this grade to men state 62. The second example is held at the Smithsonian Institution. The Smithsonian example was donated by a government official. In January 2014, San Diego resident Randy Lawrence discovered a 1974 D aluminum sink. The coin had been in the possession of his father. Harry Edmund Lawrence, a former deputy superintendent of the Denver Mint, who kept it in a sandwich bag along with other coins. Lawrence brought the coin to La Jolla coin dealer Michael McConnell, who estimated its value at a minimum of 250,000 up to 2 million US dollars or possibly more. On January 28, 2014, PCGS announced that it had certified the coin as authentic with the grade PCGS MS63 and certification number 28544237. They plan to auction it after touring the United States. Randy intended to donate a portion of the proceeds to homeless programs. However, before the auction could take place, the United States men requested the return of the coin. The case went to court where a judge ruled that it was plausible that Randy's father had lawfully obtained the rare coin from the mint. Eventually, to settle the lawsuit, Randy and Michael surrendered the penny to the U.S. men in March 2016. The men expressed its intention to display the penny as a part of its history. 
It's worth noting that another 1974 D aluminum cent is stored at the United States Bullion Depository. Now, if you're itching to get your hands on one of these coins, it won't be possible since possessing or attempting to sell one of these experimental coins is illegal since they were never issued for circulation and technically remain property of the U.S. government. Oh, and one more thing to watch out for, counterfeit coins. Since these babies are so valuable, some sneaky scammers try to fool collectors with fake versions. And there you have it, the thrilling saga of the 1974 aluminum Lincoln sink. A coin born out of an ingenious experiment, but a short-lived one at that. Its rarity, historical significance, and the excitement of the hunt make it a true treasure in the world of numismatics. If there's a coin variety you want to feature in our future videos, comment down below and tell us how you rate this video from low 1 to high 10. If you like this video hit the thumbs up. We found that there are still people who watch our videos but are not yet subscribers. We'd really love for you to subscribe and join our coin community. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we have coin sales. On Monday and Friday, we have them at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on Wednesday, we have them at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we'll be seeing you there. Well, there you have it. Take care and have a wonderful week. Thank you for your love and support. See you on the next video. Good luck and happy hunting.